Hi everyone, Tori here from Tales from a Polk County Girl. I changed up my Traveler's Notebook setup for May and I want to share that with you. It is May 1st. My birthday is in 14 days, which means that's when I get my Maverick back. And I am very excited. Um, so, I'm going to show you how it's how my Amazon find my ZLYC. Wow, the lighting is so bad you can't even see the frosting going. Oh well. Um, uh, bleh, I completely lost my train of thought. I'm going to show you what I've stuffed in here for May, and let's be honest, as soon as I get my Maverick, I'm going to move into that one. So I just want to show you what's in here now. Um, not really much has changed. I still have my, 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 uh, Yellow Paper House, uh, Month on Two Pages booklet. I've got my month's worth of dailies booklet that I made myself. And um, I changed the front page of it to look like this. And I'm going to be listing it for sale on my Etsy shop. And the inside still looks the same. That's still what it looks like. I still need the half hour. Um, ah, you know, all my coupons are falling out. I made a pocket in the back of the uh, monthly booklet right here. I taped two of the page, those two notes pages together to make a little pocket so I can keep uh, coupons and whatnot in there. They fall out from time to time. Um, but yeah, I still need the half hour per day. So that I don't completely overschedule myself. And then I still have the Happy Scrappy insert in here from Canyon. And that's what the blank pages look like. It is the grid. And I'm kind of using it as like a quick bullet, for, as like a temporary bullet journal. Because I have, yeah, I can show you this. There's nothing private on here. Um, Except now it's my doctor's office. Um, as a quick bullet journal, and no, I don't put page numbers on it. I just, that way, bleh. I know if I've started a list in here, I can look, see where it is, and just skip to it. And then what I added in the back, if any of y'all remember, the um, ZLYC. Traveler's Notebook has the single long elastic with that shorter elastic, and you're not really supposed to use the shorter elastic. Well, I am because I needed. I miss having just not a brain dump um, notebook, but just like a. I call them disposable notebooks, ones that I can just write down random stuff that I know I don't want to keep. Like, this Happy Scrappy insert, I don't want to trash it. I know that sounds really dumb to some people, but I don't want to trash it because these types of inserts are expensive. So, what I did is I have a 5x7 cheap mini composition book that I bought at the Dollar, at dollar General, and I cut it down so that it would fit inside a uh, inside a narrow traveler's notebook and I cut the plastic the front plastic cover off because um, it was just in the way but that's what the cover looks like on the back uh, this is the one my husband put through this tried to use a chop saw on to see if it would work and it totally kind of jumbled the edge so I've got duct tape on it to uh, so it won't so I won't catch myself on it but yeah, it's just a cheap um, little notebook. These things are like a buck. And I use it for disposable lists uh, by, that I know I'm not going to keep. And that's really what I wanted. Yes, I still make random lists in my little one. But um, again, it depends on which one I have with me. And I always like to be able to have a, um, a disposable notebook in there so that I can 
make make lists, make notes, and not worry that I'm wasting paper and a notebook and an insert that I actually would want to keep and possibly archive. And then in the back, I don't think I showed you guys this, but I had gotten, been gifted a pocket that, you know, you buy these, it's the Midori um, stick-on pocket, stick-on secretarial pocket, um, and I was gifted one, so I just stuck it in the back here, and I just keep some coupons that I haven't filed, some stamps. I don't know if anybody, I didn't know this, I bought, um, when I got the pocket Moleskine books that fit, that don't fit in this one, it came with a little booklet about Moleskine, and so I just found, you know, the story behind it really interesting, and that's why it's in there. Um, stick that back in there. But just how chunky it is. It's chunkier than, you know, I usually like, but I'm gonna have to get used to that because I can stuff I'm I'm I know I'm gonna be able to stuff Maverick even chunkier because it's going to have four elastics, whereas this one only has two really it has one, but I'm using the smaller one that you're not supposed to use. Um so yeah, that's how I'm set up for May. And the pen I'm using is a Paper Mate, one of those Paper Mate Ink Joy Quattro's. It's showing up. I hope that shows up. Anyways, it's got the, uh, the four colors. And I don't use a, a uh, pen loop. What I do is I just throw it in between my dailies. And I close it up, rubber band it, and it stays. So that's my temporary May setup, should I say. Because once I get my hands on my Maverick again, I'm moving right in. And there will be a video when that happens. So I hope everybody has a good May. I hope you have a good April. And I want to see how you guys have set up your planners for me if you've changed anything whether you use a traveler's notebook a ring planner or even one of the coil ones like happy um happy scrappy or Aaron Condren okay everybody have a nice day bye